Jotate is a modern artist, as modern as possible. You might not even understand it yet, but probably years to come you'll understand it. It's very mixed. And think of your rebellious millennial, right? You're telling him to do this and do that, and you see that, no, they're rebellious. They want to create what they want to do. It's like uh, it's how they tell you to be the master of one thing and, and focus on one thing, don't multitask. I like to multitask. I like to see where I can mix my style to something else and stand out. That's basically what I'm trying to do. My name is James. The artist name is Jotate. It developed from just a nickname from JT, J, and it's all from James. You know, it just that's how I grew up around Latin kids, American kids. It's a very diverse neighborhood from Brooklyn to even Jersey and a lot of cultures, but I wanted to make sure that when I say my name, it's Hispanic, so you know that I'm Latino. And it, that's how it developed, Totate, JT in Spanish. I first started using newspapers when I realized how much my previous job was throwing out newspapers. I worked at a luxury hotel where we would give a newspaper to a guest and they would just throw it out. Some people would read it, but I just kept seeing the flow of us ordering newspapers and they would throw them out. This is just one hotel. Imagine the entire world, how much we waste. So I just started cutting up newspaper. I seen other artists do collages and layer up newspaper, but I manipulated the newspaper to come out as fabric and in a deep 3D contrast on the piece. Uh, it started w with the hotel, but it grew on to being able to grab newspaper off the street. Sometimes they give them away on the street. And I stuck to it because no one else is doing it, like the 3D form that I do. The concept of the newspaper is really capturing our time. Because right now we're in a time where we're shifting from hurting our planet to really wanting to save it as far as apps. All these newspaper companies have their own apps now. And we're looking at years from now, maybe 30 years from now, we're going to have a very eco-friendly world, I'm hoping. And newspaper will be a thing of the past. So you'll be able to see the artwork and you'll say, oh, this artist in that time really wanted to capture the news, the, the moment, and how we're dealing with fake news also in our time. So that's, that's the main staple why I use the newspaper. Choosing the headlines for the specific paintings it's not so selective. I like to just use random headlines. And if it's out of the ordinary, it does spark my interest, like about investments or billion dollar deals or politics of the time. Something that'll be bold and very, very staple. Very, it'll staple a lot of that moment, like uh, an article of the, maybe Trump on there or some event, things like that. So we understand that my style is very crazy and I use a lot of mediums and just, it's everywhere. But my main character that I've developed is the Gorillas in Suits. The Gorillas in Suits is the 1% corporate America, the fascism that we're experiencing. And everyone's against corporations and they think that the big brother is controlling us and there's so much going on that they don't let humanity blossom, you know. The Gorillas in Suits came from the idea of a song that Lil Wayne made called President Carter. It's a very political song, the message he sends, and at the end he starts a speech off. He clears his throat and says, Gorillas in Suits, the Holy War, the spiritual troops, then he continues on, you gotta hear it. And that gave me an image of a gorilla in a suit. And then Banksy did this painting with chimpanzees in a courtroom bashing on the politics and seeing how they work and it's just bashing on them that they're very conscious of just collecting money that's all they care about they don't care about humanity they don't care about you know the well-being of society they just want to collect money but there are good corporations out there there's good people that want to collect money to save other countries you know people want to help humanity but this is more of my rebellious state of wanting to just point that out with the art. I believe that the newspapers for now and it'll grow on to other mediums as far as the influences always move on too. you know, years from now, maybe we won't have used newspaper. What am I going to use? Other types of fabrics, maybe the possibilities are endless. That's the point with the art. 
and you always got to constantly challenge yourself and push your limits as to what you want to illustrate, what you want to create for the viewer.